Hello, welcome to 211 East 61st Street. Please come in to this immaculate home. As you can see, you have the limestone on the outside and also it carries through through the garden level. You have these natural elements um, uniform throughout the house to really seamlessly combine the design of it. The house is designed by Flank Architects and the idea around it was to create a home that is not only functional in terms of practical living, but it also expands into great entertaining space as well. So we can see that first great entertaining space when we come down into the kitchen. You have this beautiful three inch slab marble throughout, but this wall of windows here retracts completely so you can have amazing indoor and outdoor living onto your private garden here. It is truly extraordinary. You can see there, you do have exterior heating elements as well in the garden and in the front. So if you never want to fill the snow again, you never have to in this house. You also have a gas grill that's hooked up to the grill out there. And great sound installation as well. It's kind of concealed as rock. So you have speakers throughout uh, for your outdoor speaker system as well. So as we come in, you can see this is a beautiful banquet area. It could obviously be a larger dining area as well, off the kitchen. This is one of the fireplaces here. This is Chesney Classico limestone carved, and we have three working wood burning fireplaces, which is such a rarity in New York City. You also have a gas fireplace in the atelier. So as we come through, some features I do want to point out, you have an elevator in the house. So you have an elevator that services all the floors. It's a hydraulic lift elevator. And when you first enter, this whole foyer area is just wrapped in this beautiful mahogany. The front door is solid mahogany as well. And then over here you have a small powder room with a gorgeous little Oreo window. And a lot of the craftsmanship have come from local artisans. And I'll let you look at the mud room here as well. So when you first enter the house, this is also the entrance to the basement, which is completely separated from the interior staircase of the home. So uh, if your kids are playing downstairs, you can easily close that door and have some privacy. Let me take you up to the parlor level, the second floor. You have this beautiful railing. This is walnut as well. So you'll see the walnut theme carried throughout the home. And as you come up, you come up to the grand rotunda. So this feeds into the living space here. And you can just see the quality of detail in this home. It's exquisite. So the living room here, you have 13 foot ceilings. We have a 26 foot couch in here. And these French doors that open onto a private terrace that overlooks the garden. You can see that. So again, when you have sophisticated entertaining on this level, you can easily see that the indoor and outdoor living aspect carries throughout the home. Look at these doors. These are solid mahogany doors here. And just the detailing. This is a home that was made for the ages. It was a five-year restoration project where literally all the street um, elements coming from the street, all the pipes, they were changed, everything down to the studs. And as we go in here, this is the conversation piece here. You have this beautiful bowed window. This is the only house in Treadwell Farm that has this bowed window on this street. This is full mahogany, the glass windows, and you have this beautiful Juliet, but you have the connection with the street as well, but it's very private and elegant. These walls here are upholstered in velvet, and it is just an extraordinary home. It's my favorite home in NYC. So now I wanna show you the master level of the home. So this is the third floor of the house, and as we come into the master suite, you can see all the custom walnut 
cabinetry here. These are all custom closets. And as we come in, this is your grand, luxurious master bedroom. Again, you have a working wood burning fireplace in here. But what I love, every little single detail has been thought of. So you have these French doors that open up on either end, but it looks down onto your private terrace and garden. You have this beautiful glass railing there that really conceals and just makes for a very elegant, sophisticated look. And as I walk you through, I'm gonna take you through the master bath here. So you can see the elevator entrance is here. And as we come in, you have this Jack and Jill bath coming through. You have your commode in here. This is your shower with steam function, your dual sinks. And this goes into what they have designed as their home office. So this could easily also be a dressing area as well, but uh, they have it set up with the new work from home as a home office. So now we're on the fourth floor here. So the fourth floor is comprised of two bedrooms, one to the north and one to the south. So we'll look at the south facing bedroom first. This bedroom's massive, by the way. So you have these two beautiful windows here, and each of the bedrooms have a ensuite bath, which is very nice. So you can take a look in there, and you can see that same limestone material carried through to see the consistency and the uniformity of the house. And then the other bedroom on this level, let me show you. You can see the light kind of shining through this inner interior portion through the skylights above. And you also have this laundry room. You have two laundry rooms in the home. These are full size washer and dryers. This is a north facing room here. They did this kind of ingenious little closet system here and they have the bed facing the windows which I absolutely love. And they built out these custom uh, desks here as well. So it's very convenient, great for any child. And then again for this room you do have another ensuite bath. A couple things to mention about the home, it has 12 different zones of AC and heat, and you also have radiant flooring throughout the home. So just comfortable, practical living is easily achieved in this home. And this is the last floor here. This is really the best floor. This is the penthouse atelier. It's, uh, you have this beautiful floor to skylight window, so the light just streams into here. But you can imagine, even in the evening, the twinkling lights of New York City looking back at you. I mean, it's really a fabulous design. And also, you have this secret little bar here. And this kind of goes into the theme of this house being a great entertaining space, but also very practical for living. As we come through, on the other side, you have the elevator here, you have an additional powder room here, and again, these doors fully open for the indoor-outdoor experience. If you want to come out here, this is facing south, so you get tons of light here, but you have the privacy bamboo screen here. And one thing I do want to point out is this awning that they have here. This pulls all the way out, and it gives you a ton of privacy and it acts as an additional outdoor room but it was imported from germany and it has a wind sensor so if it gets too windy it self retracts just kind of goes into the detail of the home which i think is really incredible i mean all the pieces were handpicked from italy local artisans locally and it's really a home that you can call your forever home so it's located in Treadwell Farms between 61st and 62nd Streets. And this is a small community. Even though you have the townhouses here, they have neighborhood socials. They also gather for Halloween trick-or-treating and caroling. It's really an amazing place to live. It also is, has been home to such luminaries as Eleanor Roosevelt as well. But call us today to make an appointment for this special, unique townhouse. Thank you. So this is the last level of the home.
And this is the basement level here. And you can see you have the limestone flooring throughout here, but this could easily be your bonus room. So currently they just have it functioning as a family room, but it could be a media room, exercise room. This little alcove here where they have the desk, that was originally planned actually as a wine cellar there. Um, you also have the secondary laundry here. So you have a full size washer dryer with sink. And when do you ever see marble countertops in a laundry room? How exquisite. So behind this is the boiler. And then here you have a powder room. After that, this is a chalkboard wall. And then inside here are the gas meters, which are also read remotely. So no one has to enter the house to read those. Again, the small details that make a big difference.